Hi, let us learn about urban metabolism. Have we ever wondered how the goods, water, or foods progress through our city? The progression can be observed through urban metabolism. So, what is exactly urban metabolism? It is a concept that looks at how the system in a city utilizes available resources and infrastructures through inputs and outputs. Urban metabolism helps to assess performance of a city and understand the relationship between human activities with natural environment. The main difference lies on the fact that nature essentially has a circular zero-waste metabolism where every output by an organism is also an input which replenishes and sustains the whole living environment. In contrast, the metabolism of many modern cities is essentially linear with resource flowing through the urban system without much concern about their origin or the destination of wastes. Inputs and outputs are considered as largely unrelated. The waste resulting from consumption is disposed of in solid, liquid or gaseous forms contributing to different impacts such as depletion of natural resources and a high dependency on the non-renewable ones. Based on Herbert Girardin mentioned, in order for cities to become more sustainable, they must change their linear to a more circular metabolism. Circular metabolism creating a self-regulating sustainable relationship with the biosphere and represents resource efficiency and closed loops in which recognize all outputs as recycled inputs capable to return to the production system. A circular metabolism resembles a natural ecosystem with efficient consumption, recycling and reuse of resource flows. With circular metabolism, even pollution and waste products can be reintegrated into the circular system as secondary raw materials. Application 1. Sustainability indicators give pertinent information regarding energy efficiency, material cycling, waste management and infrastructure. Application 2. Greenhouse gas accounting as helpful tool for tracking greenhouse emissions. Models provide quantifiable parameters which allow officials to mark unhealthy levels of greenhouse gas emission. Application 3. Mathematical models. Develop mathematical model to quantify and predict level of particles and nutrients within the metabolism model. Application 4. Design tools. Through utilize of the three applications above, professionals are able to use urban metabolism as design tool to create greener and more sustainable infrastructure. Number 1. Economy-wide material flow analysis of Paris. Paris has high consumption of food and goods in the city centre, while in suburban areas, Paris has high fossil fuels and construction materials consumption. Some of the control measures include creating new public policies on waste management and strengthening ties between urban and agricultural policies. Number 2. Energy Study of Macau Macau has large energy and water inflows from heat dissipation due to waste incineration. The control measures include capturing and reusing heat energy for local electricity generation and inclusion of waste reduction strategies through demand management initiatives. The challenges on the urban metabolism is that the system is complex to assess because it is not only concerned on the relationship with environment but also the exchange of resources among the city and the competition among cities on the limited resources. Urban metabolism has become a useful method to provide key information on its sustainability and the seriousness of urban, social, community and domestic problems from a global scale down to the local level. Urban metabolism also helps in reducing emissions of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane, thus leads to no global warming. <laughs>